Hey everyone, my name is Katie Bezet, and my husband Hunter and I are the campus pastors at New Life Church in Greenbrier and today I'll be bringing the devotion of the day to you from Psalm 25. So let's just jump right in. By the way, I'm on a little swing right now so that's why it's moving. Sorry if you get motion sick. Psalm 25 verses 10 and 21. It says, All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful for those who keep the demands of His covenant. Verse 21 says, May integrity and uprightness protect me because my hope is in you. So when we do these devotionals, we ask ourselves five questions. And they are, I'm sure you know these by now, a command to obey, a promise to claim, a sin to avoid, an application to make, or is there something new about God? And when I read Psalm 25, to me, it shows us something new about God. And I'll say, if you have a chance, read Psalm 25 all the way through, because to me, it's so good. And it shows us that God is a loving Father who wants to be involved in our lives, and that He wants to be involved in the little decisions. Um. It takes leaning in and having a real relationship with him, though, like really, really, truly giving him our life. Um, you know, one thing is true of all of us, whether you've been a Christian for 20 years or whether you're just watching this devotional because you're curious about what in the world NLC Live is. Um, there go some boats. Hey, boats. So one thing is true of all of us, that we need guidance in our life, whether it's in making decisions about marriage whether it's parenting, finances, choosing a major, choosing a school to go to. And that is what I love about God. He wants to be involved in the little decisions of our lives. And they may not even seem little, but little to big. He wants to be involved and he doesn't want his will for our life to be a mystery. I love verse nine. I know I didn't read it earlier, but if we go back to verse nine, I love it because it says, God, you keep showing the humble your path and you lead them into the best decision. And I love that he keeps showing us, even if we mess up, even if we make the wrong mistake or the wrong decision over and over again, and we don't know which way to go. If we're humble, he will keep showing us again and again and again, because he is loving and he is patient and he is, I mean, you're worth his time. And so the key with all of that is humility. And what does that look like? Humility is honestly just being able to say, God, I think I messed that one up. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? And will you please show me what my next step is? Where should I go? What should I do? Is it this or this? And he's so quick. If we are humble, he is so quick to step in and lead us. And that's what I love about God. So that's all I have for you today. I'm going to pray for you and then we'll be done. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for everyone watching this devotional right now. I pray, God, that you would be with them and you would speak to them. And God, if there's any major decisions in their life right now or any minor decisions where they need your input, I pray, God, that you would be clear and that they would understand and they would see the way to go. God, I thank you that all of us are going to be humble and let you lead our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.